Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and we have been asked to find the output voltage of the given op -amp. So to find that, first of all, let us consider only this MOSFET based circuit and let us find the current through this MOSFET M3. So here, we have been given that this MOSFET M1, M2, M3 are the matched pairs. That means their characteristic are also same. And if you observe over here, then these two MOSFETs M2 and M3 forms the current mirror. That means whatever current that is flowing through this MOSFET M2, the same current will also flow through this MOSFET M3. So let's say the current through this MOSFET M3 is equal to ID3. And similarly, the current through the MOSFET M2 and M1 are ID1 and ID2. So here, since M2 and M3 are identical and since they forms the current mirror, so this ID3 is equal to ID2. But for that, first of all, we need to find this current ID2. So if you observe over here, then this 1 milliampere current is getting divided between the MOSFET M1 and M2. And since the MOSFET M1 and M2 are identical, so this current will get equally divided between the MOSFET M1 and M2. That means here, this current and this current will be equal to 0.5 milliampere. And since the current through the gate terminals are negligible, so we can say that this drain currents of the both MOSFETs is equal to 0.5 milliampere. That means here, this ID1 is equal to ID2 is equal to 0.5 milliampere. And we know that this ID2 is equal to ID3. That means this ID3 will also be equal to 0.5 milliampere. That means this current will be equal to 0.5 milliampere. So now since we got this current, so with the help of this current, we can easily find the output voltage of the given op -amp. So here we know that this current is equal to 0.5 milliampere. And here we have been given that the given op -amp is the ideal op -amp. That means no current is flowing into the op -amp terminals. Therefore, to satisfy the KCL at this node, this current should also be equal to 0.5 milliampere. And here, since the non-inverting terminal of the op -amp is connected to the ground terminal, so due to the virtual ground, this node will also be at the ground potential. That means the voltage at this node is also equal to 0 volt. So now, to find this output voltage, we need to first of all know that which one of the following diode is conducting. So let's say this diode is D1 while this diode is equal to D2. So first of all, let us assume that this diode D1 is conducting. So if this diode D1 is conducting, then the voltage drop across it will be equal to 0.7 volt. And we know that due to the virtual ground, this node will be at the ground potential. That means if we see the output voltage, then in that case, this output voltage will be equal to minus 0.7 volt. And if the output voltage is minus 0.7 volt, then this diode D2 should remain off. Because here, the voltage at the anode of this diode D2 is equal to minus 0.7 volt, while the voltage at this node is equal to zero. Therefore, in that condition, this diode D2 should remain off. And if this diode D2 remains off, then the entire current should flow through this diode D1. And since we are assuming that this diode D1 is conducting, so the current through this diode D1 should flow in this forward direction. But moreover, we also know that the current through this MOSFET M3 is equal to 0.5 milliampere and it is flowing in this direction. So if this diode D1 is conducting, then here the KCL at this node will not get satisfied because the current through the MOSFET is flowing in this direction while the current through the diode is following in opposite direction. So to satisfy the KCL at this node, the current through the diode should be negative. And because of that, we can say that this diode D1 will remain in the off condition. And therefore, only the second diode D2 will only conduct. That means this D1 will remain in the off condition and the current will flow through this diode D2. So here, this current is equal to 0.5 milliampere and the same current 
should also flow through this path and of course this node will be at the virtual ground so now if we apply the kvl in this loop then we can say that this output voltage v out is equal to the drop across this diode that is 0.7 volt plus the voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor and that is equal to this 1 kilo ohm times 0.5 milliampere because here the same current of 0.5 milliampere should also flow through this loop that means the output voltage v out is equal to 0.7 volt plus 0.5 volt and that is equal to 1.2 volt that means the output voltage of the given circuit is equal to 1.2 volt and therefore we can say that for the given question this d is the correct answer